Hello everyone. Some EDD updates for the week and for those still stuck with those pending payments. Now several causes of those pending payments have been identified with the primary reason still being the benefit year on your claim has ended and a new claim needs to be filed. Also those waiting for those new claims to be processed. But there are some other causes that are getting overlooked. Now, one of the other reasons some of you are seeing those pending payments is because a phone interview is needed to complete the processing of your claim. This really has become more common over the last several weeks. The problem is a number of you are not receiving proper notification from the EDD that this is even needed for your claim. Also, there seems to be no pattern in who is selected for these phone interviews. If you have been selected for a phone interview and the EDD has scheduled you for one, this is what you will be seeing in your UI online account homepage with the date and time the EDD will be calling you for that interview. You will also have the option to reschedule, but I strongly suggest you keep that appointment because you will continue to have those pending payments until the interview has taken place. Based off feedback, the questions asked during the interview have been relatively simple, lasting on average a couple of minutes. Some identity questions such as name and address were asked, and the one common question asked is why did you leave your last job? And for most people, it was that simple. So I know there were some of you anxious about the upcoming phone interview, but it is really pretty straightforward and quick. But many of those needing a phone interview will have no idea unless either they call into EDD to find out the reason of their pending payments or see the interview information in their UI online homepage. Now what several people have reported during the last certification is that the requirement to list three job contacts per week, as you see here in question three, was no longer required as it was when they last certified just two weeks ago. Instead, it looks like this where all you are asked is if you looked for work, but that requirement to list those job contacts is gone. Given the work search requirement has not been in effect during the pandemic, it is not clear why all of a sudden it was removed from the weekly certification. However, there is expectation the work search requirement will start up again over the summer. It should be noted a number of our viewers reported they did not have to list any job contacts for some time, so it is not quite clear why some were continuing to be asked and others not. The one common thing is those who reported this change were all on PEUC claims. In other news, two years after the EDD was advised by the state auditor not to include people's social security numbers on any correspondence mailed to them to prevent identity theft, the state Senate finally passed Senate Bill 58, which eliminates full social security numbers being listed in future correspondence. The bill is now on its way to the state assembly where it is also expected to pass. Staying on the topic of the state auditor's recommendations, the EDD achieved mixed results in meeting the recommendations set forth by the auditor when it comes to dealing with a lot of the ongoing problems. In a hearing, the auditor's office said the EDD was not on track when it came to workforce, workload planning, and the creation of a fraud unit. EDD had planned to hire 987 new employees between January and May, and they reported hiring 628 new staff as of last week. Also discussed in the hearing was how the backlog claim numbers are increasing by the week, which now sits at over 1 million. The EDD representative speaking blamed it on two reasons, the benefit year end, but also said that 95% of their backlog is due to EDD resuming claim determinations to see if in fact a claim is valid. Meanwhile, the state has released last month's job numbers and the unemployment rate remained at 8.3%, so there was no change overall from the month before. With California on track for a full reopening on June 15th, I would expect July's job numbers to show the full impact of that reopening when it comes to the unemployment level. Many of you reported during the last certification day that you experienced issues logging into the EDD website even after the site was down for scheduled maintenance for over a day. It appears the website problems were resolved by the afternoon. Again, for those experiencing issues logging in and who do not want to wait for the website to come back online, you do have the option to using the EDD's Telesert phone system to certify for those weekly benefits. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.